Oh, the brakes are brilliant. On the line. Um, right. Oh, that's not. That doesn't help much in there. You can't see behind you, can no, you? No, I just want to be really accurate. You can help with that. That's in the way, and that's in the way. That's why the early ones had a periscope. All right, look, I've got a bed right. There's a cool thing I can do here, look. Where if you sit here, like this, and then you can put it in reverse, there. You're going to run over your own foot? No, on no RPM. Yes, it How is cool moving. Is yes, it? yes. I look pretty cool. You're all right. You're all right. Yep. I'm in my car. Better left hand down. In... What? Oh, yeah. Better left hand down. It's like being out of the side of a helicopter in Vietnam. It's that cool. Yeah. Do you know, I was just explaining to the viewers before we stopped what a sham this car is. That rear wing has no effect other than to slow the car down and make the front go light when you're at high speed. It's actually worse than that, because it's illegal. They didn't, have the, they didn't have the money to homologate it properly, so they'd build the cars in the factory, then wheel them out into the car park, and a man screwed them on with a power drill. Genuinely. And I love that about In the it. car park? In the car park. Finished it off. I love that. Why don't we tell the viewers how the indicator stalk on your supercar comes from a Morris Marina? <laughs> well, why don't we talk about the fact that the electric door mirror adjusters on yours are out of an Austin Montego? I was hoping you didn't yeah, know I that. I did. Ahem. Rod Stewart had a Testarossa. Rod Stewart had a Countach. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Unable to agree on anything, we decided to take a more intellectual approach by having a drag race. Now, on paper, the Lamborghini is faster, definitely, but, as we've already observed, Lamborghini were a bit fast and loose with their performance figures back in the day. So now, finally, we can find out for real. However, as we sat on the start line, something occurred to us. Uh, these are privately owned cars, aren't they? Correct, yeah. Well, the thing is, Testarossas don't really like standing starts because they tend to blow their own differentials up. How much is a new differential? It's £26,000. Uh, actually, I'm, I'm quite, quite glad you've mentioned that because these don't like standing starts either. It's those huge rear tyres. You get a fried clutch and a split gearbox casing. How much does that cost? £36,000. So in all, that's £62,000 at risk. I know. I, I fancy something we don't normally do, a rolling start drag race. Yes, I do too. I've always wanted to try a rolling start drag race. And for some reason, today in these cars, I prefer that option. So, when the light went green, we gently pull away together. And then, at the white line, floor it. Rolling start. Cross the line and pin it. And they're off. It's getting away. What an astonishing feeling! Oh, an angry Kunta! 140! The bull has kicked the horse's ass. Even through that ridiculously small window, you look smug. Oh, I am, mate, because I won. And it matters. It does matter. That's the annoying thing. It really matters. <laughs>